Finally, my USA B1 B2 visa has been approved in first attempt. In this video, I would like to share how was my visa interview experience? What are the required documents you need to carry for the US visa interview? What are the things they will allow you to carry inside and what not? How many rounds are there? How long will it take? And also we'll discuss about what are the interview questions. The first document is appointment confirmation letter. When you log into US visa official website, on the first page you will be able to see the appointment status. Take this printout. Security guard will check this appointment confirmation letter when we are standing in a queue. You have to join the queue only 15 minutes before your appointment time. My appointment was at 9.45 am. I joined the queue at 9 am. But security guard asked me to join at 9.30 am which was 15 minutes before my appointment time. Second document is your current passport. The passport must be valid for at least 6 months beyond the period of stay in the United States. And also you can carry passport containing most recently issued US visa if applicable. Third document is non-immigrant visa application form DS-160 confirmation page. Fourth document is confirmation and instructions page. Log into US visa official website. Click on continue. Now click on print instructions. You have to take this print out. This is the confirmation and instructions page. Please read these instructions in their entirety. Failure to comply with these instructions may delay the processing of your US non-immigrant visa application. So thoroughly go through these instructions before you go to visa interview. All visitors to the consular section are screened by security personnel prior to entry. It's very important to know about security precautions and restrictions by clicking on this link. We'll go through the security precautions and restrictions in few minutes. Here is the consular section, interview date and time and location. These are the required document list for the visa interview. Let's scroll up and print this confirmation and instructions page. Fifth document is proof of your status in Canada. It can be your work permit, visitor record, study permit and so on. Sixth document is one photo. It should be 2 by 2 inches. Seventh document is accompanying family members unless entering the US should present a marriage certificate for spouse and or birth certificate for unmarried children under 21 as applicable. Now you are aware of what are the documents are required for US B1 B2 visa interview. Let's discuss about what are the things they will allow inside the US Embassy. As I told you earlier, let's click on this link which is in confirmation and instructions page. It's a security procedure. Any visitor refusing to submit to security screening shall be prohibited from entering. These are the prohibited items backpacks, bags, luggage or large purse. You should not carry any bags inside the US Embassy. You can carry small purse which is 12 into 10 into 6 inch or smaller than that. Food and beverages, weapons including mace or pepper spray, any sharp edges, tools, bladed objects, any oils, aerosols or pump sprays, liquids, lotions and powders. Any type of fire starter, helmets, strollers will be determined on a case by case basis. Electronic device or recording equipments of any kind like cameras, laptops, computers, mobile phones, MP3, CD or cassette players, pages, keyless remotes and also smartwatches are not allowed. Now let's discuss how many rounds are there. At the entrance they will check your passport. Next is screening. After screening, there will be one more entrance. There, they will check your passport, DS-160 confirmation and your status in Canada. In the next round, they will ask your passport and photo. They will scan and upload your photo in their system. Then, they will return your photo and passport back. Next is biometric. All your fingers are electronically scanned. Last round is interview. The interviewing officer will interview you. Now, let's discuss about what are the interview questions they asked me. Once you go in front of the interviewer, greet the officer with smile. Hello officer, good morning, how are you? 
Don't be nervous, be confident and give eye to eye contact. It's very important that you should remember all the information you entered in DS-160 form. For example, which place are you going to visit, how many days you will stay and so on. Because officer will cross verify your answer with DS-160 form. So please go through DS-160 form before your interview. First question was, what is your purpose for visiting the United States? This is just a warm up question, just answer in 2 to 3 sentences which clearly explain the reasons behind your purpose of travel. The officer's main goal is to ensure you are planning only a temporary visit to the United States and you will definitely return to your home country after your visit. For this question I answered as, we are planning to take our daughter to Disney World and Space Museum which are in Florida. We are planning to travel during her summer vacation for 2 weeks and also we will visit few places in Florida and come back. By giving this answer, I have clarified to officer that we are going only for tourism purpose and will come back in two weeks. Second question was, do you have relatives in the United States? We don't have any relatives in the United States, so I said no, we don't have. Make sure your answer should match with DS-160 form. Third question was, who is sponsoring for the US trip? I said, my husband is sponsoring for this trip. We do have sufficient funds in our bank account and this is the bank statement. They will ask this question just to make sure how you will manage the expenses whether you have sufficient funds or not. At that time, you will have to present the bank statement to the officer so that they should know who will be sponsoring your trip. Fourth question was, who will be traveling with you? I said, my husband and my daughter are traveling with me. Fifth question was, how long are you in Canada? You should give the correct answer from how long you are in Canada which should match with DS-160 form. After these 5 questions, the officer said, congratulations, your visa is approved. Let's summarize quickly. Try to reach the US Embassy 30 minutes prior to your appointment time. Go through the instructions page thoroughly and document checklist which is in the instruction page. Go through DS-160 form and remember all the points which you have entered in DS-160. Don't carry backpack or large purse. Keep all the documents in a file and carry only the file. Dress up well. While giving answers, keep a smile on your face, give eye to eye contact and be confident. I hope this video is helpful. All the very best for your interview. In my upcoming videos, I will show you how to apply for B1, B2 visa and how to fill DS-160 form. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned.